Hey everybody, it's me, Gregory Manorino, back for my post-market wrap-up on this freaky day. Freaking whipsaw day, another one of these crazy things. Um, I guess it's a lovely day as well. You know, every day above ground is a lovely freaking day. Um, it is Wednesday, May 2nd, 2018. So, uh, wow. That's all I have to say about a 260 point swing in the Dow. So let's cover the day real quick. Stocks opened showing some promise um, and then kind of remained at the flat line most of the day, up and down, hovering around that flat line. Uh, the Fed opens their mouth. Uh, and then stocks went up um, at one point today. The Dow Jones Industrial Average was up almost 90 points. I don't know why, really, seriously, the market would have even nudged higher after what came out of the Fed's mouth. What came out of their mouth? Well, nothing we don't already know. They're, they're saying they have inflation in check. Don't worry, everybody. Inflation, we got it covered. Sure they do. That's number one. Number two, um, no rate hike announcement. That was not a surprise. Uh, and, and they also said, we're going to stick to our guns on, on you know, hiking moving forward. Uh, okay. Did anything come out of their mouth here that was so spectacularly special or something? No. But some, some traders out here really liked it. So they pushed stocks higher. Like I said, uh, oh, we should buy right here. Buy! And then the market bled off. It takes about an hour for the market to kind of settle in after what the Fed says. And then the market just tanked. Uh, again, from up about 90 to down about 175 on the Dow. Pretty nice swing there. I mean, it's just an absolute whipsaw market here. Um, very difficult to trade. And it's funny, as most of you know who probably saw my video that I did earlier, I told you that I'm, I have to reevaluate my own strategy here with this massive volatility in this market. Uh, it's tough. So I, I'm coming up with a, a little bit of a plan, and maybe I'll share that with some of you right here, just real quick, uh, and then we'll go on to a few other things. So as we all know, you want to look at the Dow Jones Industrial Average, it's very erratic. Uh, S&P 500, very erratic. The Q's not as erratic, more companies involved there. The Russell 2000, if you look at that index, fellow traders, you will see it's, it's not as erratic as the other two. It's erratic, but not as much of this whipsaw action. As a matter of fact, the Russell 2000 finished positive today, about 0.4%, something like that. Um, perhaps we should start trading the Russell 2000 in a short timeline. For example, let's show, instead of using a daily chart, maybe we should use a six hour chart, an eight hour chart, a four hour chart. So I'm playing with all this right now. And once I come to some kind of a consensus, and this is probably not going to happen overnight, I want to play with this. I want to get it right before I start posting any new positions here. I'm just not going to do it. This market is too freaking volatile. Um, and, and again, many of you wrote to me today, Greg, you know, I can't make any money in this market either. Some of you who wrote to me have been trading for 40 years. One guy wrote to me, he's like, Greg, I've been trading for 40 years and I, I, I can't get ahead this year. And I got, I, believe me, I, I got you. It's uh it's, it's a bad year. All right. Anyway, let's, let's just, let's go back here. So market volatility remains the story. I even talked about this in the video I did earlier today. This really shouldn't surprise any of us. These swings are pretty outrageous. Now, this is important. The yield curve has flattened further. The spread now between the 10 and the 30 is under 16 basis points. An inversion seems like it's going to happen very, very soon. Um, let's keep our eye on that. The dollar did get stronger today, not good for this market. Um, cryptos are kind of catching a little bit of a bid here. I think some cash is going to make its way over to cryptos uh, if this market starts to bleed off further. Anyway, so uh, whatever happens, we know we know one thing for a fact. 
the Federal Reserve will get it wrong because they have never, ever once got it right. Unless, of course, they're trying to foster this, uh, these market cycles in a wealth transfer, or then they're getting it absolutely right. You, you hear what I'm saying here, right? I know you get it. All right, look, with that said, we will reconvene in this spot in the morning, and I can promise you, <laughs> it's going to be lovely.